what's up? The Amateur Visual. And welcome back to episode two of Build Time. <laughs> I'm not even gonna call the series. I'd call it, you know, the. I don't know if I normally I'd call it Build Eight Days, but I don't actually know what the series you made is long. So anyway, today we're going to be building the first part as much as we can of the first end. Like, maybe second part of Obama 3. Last episode, we flip in, went through, structured, and finished uh, the layout to Obama 3. Oh, no clip. Uh, hacker exposed. This is what it'd be looking like. I mean, I don't know how much of any part I'm going to get done. We're going to see. I'm going to build, like, the background, block design. But, um, I'll see what I can do. I'm just going to build it. And then for backgrounds, I have no freaking clue what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm just at a complete loss of what I, I want to do for backgrounds. I mean, for the ball part, I know exactly what I want, but for the rest of it, uh, so with all my levels, the uh, <coughs> boom. Let's start with this. We'll do an invisible group being 11, because that's just what I have all my invisible groups in every level I make. Not sure. Didn't sure didn't make it particularly easy for me to decorate. I mean, gosh dang, how does how does one decorate a, a giant detailless slope? Anyway, we'll start on uh, layer four, which is always my block design group. So let's start filling in this uh, slope. I kind of suck at structuring. I didn't really do much with it, or at least for most of it. I mean, like I got this, so I'll get. Never mind, I literally didn't see this slope here, so there's that. There we go. Alright. Wow, look how amazing this is. Second thing, second, we'll go to like, I don't know, layer 18, sure. We're gonna place down some blocks. Uh, four, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the center um, of the screen, so we'll make this Four and just follow 9999 because, or I'll do like 9090. Nine oh, what the frick? <laughs> I didn't know that happened. I must got that like Gucci stinky mega hack setting on or something. I don't even know. Vomit alert. All right, just make a B4. Make them homies black. Um, I'll make, I'll, I always, oh, I already is. <laughs> I already have, I always, in all of my levels, have, oh, this is clearly Obama 2. Um, 10 is always my rainbow, 4 is always my black, 9 is always my copy 10 rainbow, and then uh, everything else is just kind of whatever it wants to be. Although I will change, since I don't actually need any of these colors, I will change color 18 to be black blending, and then 19, wait, that's 13, and then 19 to be, uh rainbow 50 that's the majority of my setups here it should did i do something wrong yes i did i forgot to put lock player x well yep this looks good this way um whenever you switch gravity normally there's like a particle effect that swoops across the screen. This removes that, which makes the whole level look a lot smoother. And some effects actually just wouldn't look right at all if it was still there. So here we go. Here's where the Gucci go stank. Are you ready? The news we're gonna copy this, believe it or not. Next three, we're gonna this is gonna be 15. This is gonna be 15. And this is gonna be T3. I'm just going visible. So now the transitions are wait. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an it did I really do that? Did I really I'm oh my lord. Alright, so in conclusion, I'm a fool. There you go, now it looks like check that out. Boom, Gucci Gangster, Gucci Gangster confirmed, confirmed, audiovisual confirmed Gucci Gangster. Hmm. <clears throat> looks wonderful, except for that transition actually, it should be fine. Love it, love it, love it, adore it. Perfect transition. Now I don't have to like do some weird stuff with the slope. That looks so good, actually. What the heck? For those Gucci gangsters who don't know and who want to know this extra Gucci gangster tip, um, the way I'm moving these things without like touching these buttons down here, uh, it's just W S W A S D. Uh, let's make it mad darky mode, like that. And then you know what? I'm feeling just kind of a glow style for this first part. I'm gonna use a trick I learned from none other than Jonathan GD. Something like this is where you put two squares around the thing you want to rotate precisely, and then you rotate it that way and the squares will make it precise. Flipping super useful trick. Shout out to Jonathan, shout out to my, my barber dog. dog. Sometimes building just my life be like, ooh ah, ooh ah, you know? All right, there we go. Look like this. 
kind of be liking it though. If you didn't notice already, my building like habits and style is very just do thing. <laughs> I'm very I'm very disorganized when it comes to how my mind works and thinking of things to build. So sorry if this video is literally impossible to follow. Check this out. With the T2 glow, they're slipping a slight glow on the player. It's more noticeable on the red. Check that out. Look at that, it looks so sick. Now we got a sideways thing, and now, and now, it's time to flip in, fill in some of the these parts, like uh, this. So I'll see you when that's over. All right, now that we got the outlines finished, I'm gonna, um, or set 11 to zero, and then I'm gonna fill in all the blocks with gray, and that should look pretty good, because I mean, that's, you know, that's just like what I'm doing. All right, and there we go. I got all the gray filled in. I'm gonna increase this pulsing just a little bit so I can see if it still looks good throughout the rest of the level. Ooh, ooh! All right, definitely liking it. I'm definitely liking it. I'm definitely liking it. Um, air decoration and some sort of background is gonna help a lot, but uh, so far this isn't looking half bad. I really like the flipping slow particles um, when it fades in. Like, that's a little thing that I that I don't think anyone... I didn't even notice for a little bit, but like, look at that, the slow particles. It looks so sick! I figure i just get these pillars out of the way as fast as I can. Why are these 140? What is 140? I'm... I'm not... I want... What is one... What does group 140 entail? What does it do? I don't mind just a solid... Oh, actually, that look kind of sick as block design. Hold on. That doesn't look that bad. That doesn't look that bad. With glow, I think that'll look a lot better. What a... What a world we live in, where Jonathan GD is real. I'm 100% liking that. All right, tell you what, let's flip and go straight combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell mode right now. Let's freaking combo these together. Gucci Gamer discovered. <laughs> Put on the Wii. That looks fine. And it looks good. Wait, did I just see it? This gonna work. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Check that out! Who would have guessed? Not me! Oh my lord, why does it not line up? <laughs> what the heck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> why? Why can't they just act like normal blocks and B blocks? Look this in the eyes. You can't because it's disgusting. The flipping, the little tiny unfixable gap between this and this, where one is too far away from everything else, because if I do this, it flipping looks weird over here. Look at that, now there's just a weird white thing sticking out. But if I try to flip it move it back, well then guess what, there's flipping a weird dry space over here! And this doesn't go precise enough to fill it in. Well, I mean, it technically does, but if I do that here, then I'll just have to go all the way up, and guess what? Actually, it looks okay. I'll keep it that way. I should have got so mad. I mean, I mean, I mean, I was kind of justified because it's flipping. Ooh, the way some blocks in this game just flipping suck. <laughs> but anyway, fill in a couple more blocks and then just work on the background. Now that I think about it, I want these things to pulse white when you go over them. So I'm going to do that real quick. Make this effect. What if I did black instead of white? I actually like that a bit better. I wasn't expecting to like that more than I, or more than that. Uh, let's let's try this. See how this looks. Okay. I, I actually kind of. I mean, it, it, <laughs> I like it a lot more. But I also just remembered that you don't actually touch a lot of the blocks in this part, so it just kind of looks weird. All right. I think it is time to move on to making a background for this part. Which I'm not sure I'm gonna do. And then after I do the background, I'll do air deco because I just remembered that that's a thing you gotta do. <laughs> when imagining what I want this part to look like in my head, I flip in. I keep thinking of like a line background, not like just lines, but and I don't. I mean the level that I made, not the flipping word. Actually, you know what? What if 
what if? Here's what I'm thinking. We have a background that looks something like this, where it's, hold on, let me, uh, it's like we got one of these on each side of the screen, right? So it's looking like this, and they're both rotating. And then we put layers, like a mask, over it, and have that do something. Hmm. I'm gonna take a break for a second to brainstorm this, so you won't notice, but I'm going for a break, and I'll be back when I'm done with the break, and hopefully I'll know what I want to do. Alright, so I'm back from my break. <sighs> I think I know what I'm gonna do for this part. It's a bit complicated. It's just like a weird effect that I was thinking of doing. But if it looks really cool, I'm gonna be very happy. So anyway, after this egregious heckin' thing, let's do that. Let's flip and get this going. Let's start making the background. We're gonna make this. Group 28. Do this. Find the circle item, which... There we go. This will be 29. I saw this may be negative 2 just for the widescreen players out there. So negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2. Perfect. Literally perfect. I imagine would be B3. Um, yeah, B3. B3. I'll just make it like 1. B3, 1. Copy. I'll send this to like group 27 or 28. 28 and then one of them to 27 27 and then both of these I'll just put these on three I want to make things covering both of them respectfully it'll be um b3 two and four rotate this like however many degrees it doesn't it's not precise unfortunately so it'll just look kind of weird but it gets it gets, it gets the top job done so See, it, you can't actually, like, meet at a center between these two. Many times of building vaporwave backgrounds have taught me that the hard way. Babingi, Bagingi, Bagongo, Bashongo. There we go. Finally. Whew! Finally! Finally, finally. I need to go link them. Hold on. Alright, now! Finally! This section is done. We got, uh... This one on one, and this one should be on three. Yes, sirree. Whole reason I wanted to do this was because I still wanted the level to be perfectly normal for widescreen devices, and like I wasn't gonna sacrifice my widescreen homies for ease of an effect. So this one goes out to you, my widescreen homies. All right, so make the wideness of this. Save it on objects by just doing this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Gucci gangsters hate him. Yes, this one will be two. I wasn't sure. All right, so then check. Got that blending things. Just straight up, don't go over white or uh, things on their own layers. Uh, it's utterly awful. What if I change this to like fifty? I can't make it blending. I can't make it blending, and that is so dumb. I don't think there's anything I could do. I could, well, I, I guess I could do something like this, in which case I'm an idiot and I delete this for no reason, but actually it's not that dumb because I can just copy and paste it. So shoot that. Yeah, that's basically what it's going to look like. And then I suppose if, what is this? Just flip in B2. If I make this B2, if I make a copy of this and make it B2, I can just, it'll just work. I think I literally don't know what I did to make it work. Uh, <laughs> what the frick? And 34. So 33 around 34. Let's just get that out of the way right now. There we go. 28 around 29. Boom. Big boom boom. Let's see what this would look like. Please be good. Please be good. Please just let. The oh oh. <laughs> so let's see how this be straight looking. If it looks good, I'ma flip and be happy, not gonna lie. Uh Alright, okay. You know what? You know what? This is this is 33 will be the whole the whole game. 
33. Don't know why it wasn't 35, but whatever. You can't even really tell what's going on. The background is a decent idea, I just think it needs way more refining. Also, oh, also, uh, I need to make them spin opposite ways. Solution number one, move these just up. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This looks sick. Okay. Okay, I'm like, I'm actually really liking that one. Seriously, I've been building this dumb background for like upwards of an hour. So, so there's that. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. I kind of, I kind of like this. I kind of vibe with this. Um, it's, it's a bit, it's, it's kind of laggy, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. Um, hard call. Cause I think what I want to do is make the, the behind ones rotate less. Cause right now I, I can't even, you can't even really tell what's going on. Buff. I might literally just use this. So I'll, I'll rotate it 90 degrees in zero seconds. And I'll just see what the background looks like there. And then I'm gonna add uh, separate groups to these two and then make them rotate at separate speeds because right now it just looks like one thing and some of them are shorter. Like this looks pretty cool. Like this alone looks pretty sick. I actually would, would definitely wouldn't mind keeping it like that but I wanna make the smaller ones move at different speeds. See how this looks? Maybe it looks flipping game. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, it looks no di Okay, ooh, um. Okay, okay. Shoo! It's kind of weird. It's it's flipping trippy as heck, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna try something a bit risky. I'm making a copy of this just in case it flipping goes really wrong. JIC, just in case. There would be two of these, so it's like one full of these of one group and then another full of these of another group, so. I can do that by just selecting this, copy, and then move the next one to that, and then doing the same thing here, copy, and then, and if I'm a straight correct boy, this should look pretty gangster, although it is now 10,000 objects, optimization will be later. <laughs> okay, it looks kind of funky now, um, uh, uh, uh. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I can't really tell what the heck's going down. So, quite frankly, I can't decide what I think about this back background. So, we're gonna continue building the ball part and editing this part a little bit. In the next episode, I think I've literally been recording for upwards of uh, three hours. So, yeah. Ugh. We, we got a lot done in this episode, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, made the whole first part, uh, mo most of it, actually. We still need air, de air deco and some polishing, but for the most part, it's looking kind of straight Gucci mode. But I'll tell you what, next to this episode, we got the, you are now flipping. Next episode, we're gonna probably polish up the last part and finish the second part in its entirety. And yeah, that'll be part three of build what, Eight, build seven days, build seven days, building level in seven days. See?